During World War II, the German army equipped rocket interceptors, which demonstrated excellent maneuverability and met all combat requirements except for their short endurance. In fact, some Allied countries were also developing similar equipment at the time, but they were not put into mass production and service. As early as 1942, the United States planned to design and build rocket fighters, which is the Northrop XP-79. After the Pearl Harbor incident, the United States began to allocate a large amount of funds to various military-industrial enterprises, and Northrop Corporation also benefited from it. In 1942, Jack Northrop began to conceive of a rocket interceptor, and his design received attention from the military in 1943, signing a prototype contract and named XP-79. Unlike Northrop's other flying wing experimental aircraft, the XP-79 was developed from the beginning as a practical model. The military proposed an incredible idea that the rocket fighter would not rely on machine guns, cannons, and other weapons for combat, but would use a ramming method to shoot down bomber targets. The XP-79 adopted a flying wing layout with a swept-back leading edge of the wing. The size of the fuselage was not large, and the cockpit was arranged along the central axis. The pilot needed to lie down to fly the plane. The front of the cockpit had a large area of windshield, which provided sufficient frontal visibility. The pilot entered from the midsection of the aircraft's back. This design made it difficult for the pilot to observe the rear and was not conducive to parachuting. On both sides of the cockpit were the engine compartments, each equipped with an Excalor 2000A1 rocket engine, which generated a thrust of 8900N. A four-point landing gear was installed below the engine compartment, and dual vertical tails were installed above the tail to assist the pilot in maintaining stable flight attitude. The aircraft used a magnesium alloy hardshell structure. As mentioned earlier, the aircraft initially considered attacking bomber targets by ramming, so the XP-79 was not equipped with weapons, at least not on the first prototype. The skin was unusually thick, with the leading edge of the wing reaching 19 millimeters and the rear edge reaching 3.2 millimeters. The ramming was done with the leading edge of the wing. There is also some controversy here. Some articles claim that the XP-79 never considered attacking targets by ramming. From our common understanding, this is indeed unreasonable. However, there have been unconventional operations in aviation history, such as hanging a large hammer on an aircraft to smash other planes. There have also been cases of damaging, destroying targets through ramming. If the combat method of ramming was not considered, how can we explain the 19 mm thick magnesium alloy skin on the leading edge of the wing? Therefore, I personally believe that ramming was indeed considered at the beginning of the design, but it was quickly abandoned due to lack of practical value. I welcome everyone's discussion on this point. The XP-79B is the second improved version, which is significantly different from the XP-79. First, the aircraft abandoned the unreliable and limited endurance rocket engine and instead installed the Westinghouse 19XB turbojet engine. This engine has a six-stage compressor and initially generates 1,200 pounds of thrust, with the production model expected to increase to 1,600 pounds. Second, the aircraft completely abandoned ramming combat and installed two 12.7mm machine guns on each side of the engine compartment. The aircraft relied on speed to quickly climb to the appropriate altitude and infiltrate the bomber group, searching for targets to strafe before quickly disengaging and preparing for a second attack. Unlike conventional layout fighters, the flying wing layout gave the fighter greater internal wing space, and the aircraft had a fuel capacity of up to 1,100 liters. It could support the XP-79B to achieve a maximum range of nearly 1,600 kilometers, which was quite impressive for a World War II jet. The XP-79B made its first flight in September 1945, when World War II had already ended. The first flight of the aircraft was not smooth, as it was delayed due to landing gear problems. 
After about 15 minutes in the air, the aircraft entered a spiral dive, and the pilot attempted to parachute but was killed by the impact of the aircraft. This accident directly led to the military cessation of the development of the XP-79. The XP-79B fighter had an empty weight of 2,650 kilograms and a maximum takeoff weight of 3,932 kilograms. It had a length of 4.6 meters, a height of 2.31 meters, a wingspan of 11.58 meters, a maximum speed of 880 kilometers per hour, a cruising speed of 770 kilometers per hour, a maximum range of 1598 kilometers, and a maximum altitude of 12,000 meters.